Have you ever wondered how you can get into alternative investments and how this might work investing in real estate as a passive investor? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the power and the importance of diversification as being a major reason people become private money lenders for real estate investors. So diversification into alternative assets compared to uh, having your money exclusively tied up into traditional, um, traditional investments uh, like Wall Street stocks and bonds and mutual funds uh, or just leaving your money in the bank, which is really not an investment strategy at all. Uh, but anyway, compared to these traditional places to put your money and to invest your money, alternative investments uh, is a whole world of many different asset classes. And the number one alternative investment is real estate. And so if you're new to the, or, or considering the world of alternative investments, real estate is probably the best uh, place to start. And being a private money lender is probably the best place to start as a passive investor in real estate. Now you can be a passive investor by uh, buying shares uh, in a private equity company or in a syndication or a fund and participate as a shareholder in a real estate investment and truly be a passive investor. But in this video series about private money lending, I want to explain how this works uh, for you as an individual uh, and how you can diversify. So by being a private money lender for a real estate investor, you are putting your money into real estate. It's secured by the real estate. So you're truly investing in real estate as an uh, alternative investment secured by a security deed that's filed on the courthouse. So it, it's a actual and fairly easy way to diversify into real estate. And diversification is, is a top reason why people get into private money lending. Um, it's a very close second to the high yield returns that you can get which is the number one reason people get into private money lending. Being able to diversify into real estate passively by being a, passive, by being a private money lender is just a, a very easy process. Real estate is not correlated to the stock market. And this is a tremendous way to diversify your investment portfolio. I don't recommend to anybody get out of the stock market 100% or get out of you know all the traditional investments you're in or whatever you're in now and put all your money in real estate. Um, but by putting a portion of your investment into real estate, you're investing in an asset class that's not correlated to the stock market. So the stock market can go up and down and sideways and, and who knows what happens in the stock market. Real estate stands on its own and the real estate market, the values of home, homes, uh, residential real estate, commercial real estate, but I, I uh, specialize in, in uh, residential real estate, especially single family homes. Uh, those prices fluctuate and there's, there's uh, but it's not like the stock market every day, up and down, up and down. Uh, the real estate market is, is solid, it's a hard asset. Uh, when the market goes down for a period of time, if you look at a, a, um, a, a chart uh, put out by the Federal Reserve St. Louis, you can find this online, they have a 62 year uh, chart of home prices in the United States. And you can see it's a steady increase uh, over that period of time. And you do see some small, uh, you know, downturns. And when you zoom in, you, you see the downturn, but like uh, 2008, for example, uh, you can see that downturn. And if you lived uh, and you were in real estate investing at that time, uh, that was a pretty uh, devastating downturn. But then when you zoom out to this 62 year chart, or even 10 years or 15 years, look at any period of time, that downturn in the market, in the real estate market, is just a very small blip. Uh, and the market came back and real estate values have increased even more. But here's another thing about diversifying by being a private money lender. Uh, you don't have to get into financing real estate uh, for a 30 year term. You can go as a private, get into uh, real estate deals on a short term note, invest your money for six months, nine months, 12 months, 
in a singular uh, property, in a singular deal that a real estate investor has, and they need money for a very short period of time. Uh, there's actually money, um, I'll, I'll get into this in another video, I've made videos about this, but as I'm talking about the term of a private money loan, uh, it's 12 months or less normally, nine months, six months, three months, uh, but I've seen them as, as uh, short as one day. Uh, and so you can actually loan your money to an investor for one day uh, for them to, uh, it's kind of like a bridge loan, I call it flash cash, you wire your money to the attorney, uh, you get a fee for, for the money while the attorney is holding it, and that allows the attorney to consummate a, a double closing or several uh, pieces of the puzzle uh, where the investor needs to have money wired and prove that they, they have the money to do the deal and the, the investor may want to flip the property. So they literally may need the money for one day. It stays in the attorney's escrow account. The next day, the money is wired back to you as a private money lender. That's the extreme example. I call that flash cash. Uh, but normally, private money lenders will give their money, uh, will loan their money for uh, three months, six months, nine months, maybe a year in most of the types of transactions that I do. Uh, but anything uh, can be done. But this is just a a uh, fantastic way to diversify your investment dollars. Uh, stocks and bonds have their place. Other alternative investments may be right for you. Uh, but if you're new to the world of alternative investments, real estate is really the best alternative investment asset that you can get involved in. And uh, it's the really number two reason, almost the number one reason uh, why you should consider being a private money lender.